Hi guys and girls, I'm Reefman, and I wanna give you a update on my Pacific Sun allergy reactor. So I previously did a video all about Vibrant uh, to get rid of my allergy, and it's actually done a great job. I'll link it above. Um, I also have a video about this allergy reactor in general, but I haven't actually been able to get it into my tank because it's a metric reactor. And let me tell you, in America, it is really hard to find 20 millimeter fittings uh, for PVC. Uh, after a bunch of orders to random places and eBaying, I managed to hodgepodge together an adapter into an adapter into an adapter that gets me into half inch PVC uh, flex tube so that I can hook up my reactor. It's been running for about two weeks now. Um, I have stopped dosing Vibrant because Vibrant does kill Ketomorpha which obviously defeats the whole purpose of having an allergy reactor. So a couple weeks before I started my allergy reactor, I stopped dosing Ketomorpha, or uh, Vibrant. So things that I've noticed, the allergy reactor has a CO2 input. That's great. If you have a calcium, or not a CO2, a calcium reactor input. It's a good idea, right? If you have a calcium reactor, it works by bubbling CO2 through water, making the water really acidic, and then dissolving the rock or aragonite and then dripping it into your tank. The problem there is, of course, there's a lot of extra CO2 in there. So the thinking is, put your calcium reactor output into your allergy reactor. The allergy needs the CO2, will suck it up, and you'll have less CO2 in your tank. Now, the thing that doesn't make sense about the Pacific Sun reactor is the input for that is actually at the top, right next to the output of the reactor. So I don't think that if you were to have your calcium reactor hooked up to it, you would really get much benefit of it because the input of the reactor, of your calcium reactor, is right next to the output of the allergy reactor. So it's kind of an odd decision, I think, there. Um, loading the reactor was super easy. Just wrap the ketomorpha around each of the levels and then put it into the tank. Um, I did notice when it filled though, the allergy sort of rose up in the reactor and there's nothing to prevent the allergy from blocking the output of the reactor overall. So even right now uh, in my sump, I have some ketomorpha that's kind of blocking the output of my allergy reactor. Now, in their directions, they do recommend that you clean and prune the ketomorpha uh, every week or at least every two weeks. Um, I have done it, um, well, I haven't done it at all yet. I'm gonna do it today and uh, I'll get that on video to show you what it looks like. Uh, but I, I imagine probably you'll have to keep an eye on the output just to make sure that it's not getting blocked. Uh, that said, uh, I've also backed down on the amount of vodka that I dose. Uh, because coral and also algae needs some nutrients in the water and vodka can lead to an ultra low nutrient system, which is great for combating algae, which was the main reason I was dosing vodka in the first place. Um, so I have cut down on that. I've noticed a little bit of cyanobacteria on my sand and uh, I just cleaned out all the glass so it's nice and clean now, but I also noticed the allergy is growing on the glass uh, quite a bit more than when I had a higher dose of vodka. I, um, I cut my dose of vodka in third, uh, and so I'm only dosing a third of what I was previous to the allergy reactor. I have seen good growth in the reactor, even just looking through the walls. Um, I took some pictures, I'll show you, uh, over the day-to-day -day progress. You can't really see much of a difference, though, day-to-day. Um, -day. Um, so I'm looking forward to opening it up today and seeing what it actually looks like in there. Um, so yeah, I hope it was interesting. I do think that if I was going to buy this reactor again, and I do think it's still a good allergy reactor, um, I do recommend that you don't get the European version if you're not in Europe. Uh, when I bought it, you could only get the metric version, uh, and now you can get a imperial version for the US, uh, which would be the much easier option for you to go if you're gonna buy one in the United States. Um, so yeah. Hopefully that was interesting, and I will give you guys another update when I have some more experience, maybe in a few months. Um, but I wanted to get this video out because a couple of people had asked me for my thoughts on the reactor now that I actually have it working. All right, so I wanted to show you um, what one week of, of growth looks like in here. Um, well, like a week and a half. 
I'm not really sure that we're gonna have to take anything out of here, uh, but we'll see. So it does open up nicely. We'll take the, the little wire out of the top so that we don't get the electronics all wet. And then it just, just screws off. Um, there's some nice bulkheads all around. Um, and then I've, I've just sort of made my own flex tube attachments here. So that's enough to get the top off. And then we'll just take the whole thing out. So then there are a whole bunch of screws. Okay, so I did want to point out this is the output of the reactor, remember? And this is the input for the calcium reactor that I was talking about. So, you know, the input of the water comes in down here. The whole water comes up the reactor and then out here. If the calcium reactor is going in here, it's basically just gonna go straight over and out. I don't, I don't think the calcium reactor is gonna be much good of anything. Um, so better than nothing, but I wouldn't count on it to really make much difference there. So then it just lifts out and we'll take a look at what we've got. And my dog in the background hearing noises. So let's see. So the first one, um, there's definitely more than I started with. Oh yeah, for sure there's more. I would say in about a week, it's maybe doubled the amount of, of uh, Ketamorpha that's in here. So yeah, good growth, I would say, for sure. I don't think we need to take this out yet, so I'm not going to worry about it, but um, yeah, it's definitely growing well. I'll just put this back in. And this is also, uh, you can't see it, but there are thousands of copepods in here. So I'm sure that my fish are appreciating the extra food that finds its way out. Um, if you have any experience with reactors like this, you'll remember uh, all these screws, they're hard to put the things on. So um, it worked out well that time, but yeah. So then we'll just close it up. And remember, whenever you screw one of these things in, you screw opposite sides down at the same time so that it doesn't get all uh, sort of like only done on one side. But yeah, I know this was kind of at the end. I, I forgot to record this as part of my video to edit it in nicely. So uh, yeah, thanks for sticking around past the original end and we will see you next week. Bye.